can you just pick one place to start? So we think about um, what we can think about how we want to shift our thought life and how we want to change these negative thoughts into positive thoughts and show up and be absolutely amazing and feel super positive all day, every day, right? Um, but that's not realistic. And so maybe today you'll feel super psyched and you'll, we'll get off this call and you'll be like, you know what? I can do anything. I'm about to take on the world, right? And maybe tomorrow you'll wake up and be like, ah, oh, mm, no, I changed my mind. I can't do it. That's okay. It's all okay. But it's important for us to say, even as it's okay, it's important for us to give ourselves permission to pick one place to start, one thing that we can do to help to start to address the negative things that come up in our lives, the negative conversations that we have with ourselves, the negative self-talk that pops up. And so with that in mind, um, here are some suggestions. Um, I encourage you to take a doodle break. You know, so often like doodling can be looked down upon for adults, but it helps our brains work. Even if you were sitting in a meeting, right? And you started doodling, there's research that says that doodling helps us process information and retain information. So it's not necessarily that you've just checked out, but that you're doodling your way into um, really retaining things and to processing whatever the situation is in that moment. There's, you can choose meditation or prayer, right? And, and you know what, like I'm feeling really crummy right now. Maybe I just need to pause. And meditation isn't, people get caught up in thinking, oh, well, meditation means that I have to sit and I have to have no thoughts. That's not what meditation is. Meditation is giving yourself permission to breathe, right? And to sit and to take a breath and like, let the thoughts come. We're not fighting the thoughts. We're not fighting what's happening. They will come and they will go. And we're not getting attached to them. It's just allowing yourself permission to be there and to just calm your energy so that you can feel grounded. I am a big proponent of journaling our feelings. I believe in putting pen to paper, but some people feel better about doing it in their phones or on their computer. However it is, our thoughts are better out than in, right? And that doesn't mean that you're telling someone that you have to tell everyone what you're feeling all the time or what you're experiencing. Sometimes it is just for you to be able to get it out. But when we hold on to all of those thoughts, we make room for the um, the inner critic to just grow and see, you're not going to have a good day. See, this is what's going to happen. See, you um, you uh, didn't have enough gas and you're, now you're running late and all of these things. And so and instead, like, what if you just journaled your way through, even if you took like five minutes in the morning and said, you know what, I'm just going to write everything that I'm thinking and feeling. And, um, and that would be more like a brain dump. But I encourage brain dumps. I encourage regular brain dumps, just writing everything with no thought about like, oh, well, it has to be a certain way grammatically or it has to be like this or that. But just that you're getting out what's in and not using your brain as the storage space. As I mentioned before, move your body, listen to music. What is your favorite song? Bob your head. I, one of the things that I love about my niece, and again, she's four. And so like, she hasn't been programmed the same way that so many of us have, right. To just like not do or not experience things or to just not be in your body, but she is fully in her body. And if she hears music, it doesn't matter what kind of music, it could be rock and roll. It could be, you know, um, R and B, it could be any number of things she will dance she will dance her little heart out and she will stop anywhere and just dance. And when I see it, it brings me so much joy because whatever is happening inside of her and she feels happy and excited and she just, she feels it and she just lets her body move. Um, sometimes we just need to talk to someone. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a, a counselor, um, maybe it's a coworker, but sometimes we need, it's, it's good for us to just talk it out and to talk to someone that we feel like we can trust about what, what we're experiencing in the moment. Like I had this really, um, I struggled through this, uh, getting this project proposal together and now I'm not sure if I did it right and I don't feel good about it. Maybe you just need to talk to someone so that they can help you process what you're experiencing in that moment. And as I mentioned before, take a few deep belly breaths. Your breath is your greatest gift and it's free. And so sometimes just taking a minute to just breathe in and let it out 
and let it out with a sigh, right? Like a, uh, like just in allowing the energy that feels negative to move through your body so that you're not holding in all of those things that we're expected to hold in because we're all, we've all been taught. I was taught that you don't share your feelings. You don't, you know, talk about what's going on. You just deal with it and keep pushing through. We're not meant to be pushing through. We're meant to experience what we're experiencing and, and acknowledge our feelings and where we are and move through it so that we can move forward. Um, and affirm yourself. Even if you just took a moment after we get off of this call or even right now, like you just took a moment and wrote two affirmations, two positive things, two things that you feel good. And even if you don't believe them about yourself in this moment, what are some two really amazing things about you that maybe it's that you um, are determined or if it helps, think about who you were as a child and who you are now. Like think about all of the things that you've persevered through, all of the things that you've experienced and how you're still showing up in the world. Find an affirmation and create an affirmation so that you can, when you hear those negative things come up, you repeat this mantra to yourself. Maybe you stand in the mirror in the morning and acknowledge yourself and look at yourself and just say, you know what, you, you really, you're really quite amazing. Yes, I do this. Sometimes I just look at my mirror, girl, look at you. Um, and it's just, and it feels good. It feels good to just like acknowledge that even if I don't feel it fully, I am it, right? I am, I can be it. I can embody it. And, and it doesn't, it, it, what's happening, the negative things that are happening don't have to control every part of my life. They don't have to stop me from showing up for myself and from being all that I was created to be.